Available now. Link below. Picture this, folks. A world where the roar of gas-powered engines is nothing more than a distant memory, replaced by the eerie silence of electric vehicles. And that's the future President Biden envisions for America, and he's not wasting any time in making it a reality. With a set of audacious regulations targeting gas cars, the Biden administration is on the verge of executing a plan that will forever change the way we live, work, and travel. But at what cost? As the average American struggles to make ends meet, Biden's insane push for electric vehicles threatens to crush the middle class, disregard consumer choice, and jeopardize our national security. And this special report will peel back the layers of this green nightmare and expose the truth behind the gas car ban. Stay tuned, because you don't want to miss the final thought on this critical issue facing our nation. Now, before we dive into this special report, a quick word from our sponsor. Just like the Biden administration's gas car ban, rising fuel costs are hitting Americans hard. But what if I told you there is a way to fight back against the greedy oil companies introducing this little fuel saver, a game-changing device that can boost your vehicle's fuel efficiency by up to 25%, saving you hundreds at the pump. It's like giving the big middle finger to those who want to force you an electric vehicle. Get yours today, an exclusive 50% discount, and enjoy a 60-day risk-free trial. Head over to ReduceMyFuel.com and take control of your fuel costs. Now, back to our report. The Biden administration is on the cusp of finalizing a set of regulations that aim to drastically reduce the sale of new gasoline-powered vehicles in the United States. The proposed rules, published by the Environmental Protection Agency in May of 23, targets vehicles with internal combustion engines and are designed to phase in stricter emission standards over model years 2027 through 2032. Under these regulations, the EPA projects that the light-duty vehicle fleet would need, an, need to achieve an industry-wide average of 82 grams of CO2 per mile by 2032, representing a 56% reduction from the existing 2026 standards. For medium-duty vehicles, the EPA is proposing a 66 to 70, 76% reduction in fleet average emissions compared to current standards. Watch. Well, ads running in states across the country claim the Biden administration is considering a ban on gas-powered cars. Is this real? Well, I don't want to spoil it for you. Brandon Lewis, let him tell you. From our National Verified team explains what the proposal from the federal government actually says. You may have seen ads that warn about an EPA car ban and show gas-powered cars disappearing from the roads. The ads produced by the American fuel and petrochemical manufacturers claim President Joe Biden is banning new gas-powered cars. Several Verify viewers reached out to ask if this is actually happening. So let's verify. Our sources are the Environmental Protection Agency, the White House, the Office of Management and Budget, and sustainability nonprofit RMI. All of the claims stem from a rule that was proposed by the EPA last year. While the ads claim the EPA wants to ban new gas-powered cars, that's not what's being proposed. The proposal actually calls for up to two-thirds of new vehicles to use zero-emission technology, like being all-electric, by 2032. The other third of cars can still run on gas. As for the cars vanishing from the road, some viewers asked if that means their existing cars will be banned, but that's also not true. The proposal does not affect cars that are already on the road. So, no, the Biden administration is not proposing a ban on gas-powered vehicles, although it does want to limit the number of new gas cars sold in the future. The EPA's proposal is still being reviewed, and the New York Times reported last month that it's likely the deadline will be pushed beyond 2032. With your Verify, I'm Brandon Lewis. Oh, so they've been verified. <laughs> yeah, well, we know the intentions, right? The administration's push towards electric vehicles has sparked intense debate about the feasibility, costs, and consequences of such a rapid transition. Critics argue the average price of an electric vehicle is currently more than twice that of a typical subcompact car, making them unaffordable for many American households. And there are concerns that the aggressive timelines can place an undue burden on automakers and consumers alike. Jason Isaac, the president and CEO of the American Energy Institute, questioned the environmental benefits of the proposed regulation, stating, I certainly it certainly won't do anything to improve human health. It won't do anything to reduce pollution. We've proven in this country that we are already a world leader in clean air. He suggested that the push for EVs is primarily driven by political motives rather than practical considerations. The American 
Fuel and petrochemical manufacturers also expressed concerns about the potential economic and national security implications of the Biden administration's approach. AFPM President and CEO Chet Thompson warned that the proposed standards could lead to 70% of new car sales to be electric in less than eight years, arguing this is bad policy for consumers, the economy, and national security, and could increase U.S. dependence on China for EV battery and mineral supply chains. Proponents of the transition to electric vehicles point to the urgent need to combat climate change and reduce greenhouse gas emissions from the transportation sector. They argue that while upfront costs may be higher, EVs offer long-term savings on fuel and maintenance, and that prices will continue to fall as technology improves and production scales up. Now, the EPA's proposed regulations come amidst a broader push by some states to phase out the sale of new gasoline-powered vehicles altogether. A ban. California has already finalized a rule requiring all new light-duty vehicles sold in the state to be zero emission by 2035, with New York, Massachusetts, and Washington following suit. The EPA noted that several other states may adopt similar provisions as well. So the Biden administration moves closer to finalizing these consequential regulations. The debate over the future of personal transportation in America is likely to intensify. Stakeholders on all sides will be closely watching to see how the EPA balances the competing priorities of emissions reduction, consumer choice, economic impact, and technological readiness in crafting the final rules. And the outcome of this regulatory process will have far-reaching implications for the auto industry, consumers, and the environment. So it remains to be seen whether the Biden administration's vision of a rapid transition to electric vehicles will come to fruition or whether political, economic, and practical hurdles will force a recalibration of the timeline and the targets. Regardless of the final details, it's clear the landscape of personal transportation in the United States is poised for a significant change in the coming years. As Americans grapple with the challenges and opportunities presented by the shift towards cleaner vehicles, it will be crucial to ensure that the transition is managed in a way that balances the needs of all the stakeholders and charts a sustainable path forward for the entire nation. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. My final thought is next. The Biden administration's push for electric vehicles and phasing out of gas-powered cars represents a monumental shift in American transportation landscape. While the goal of reducing emissions and perhaps combating climate change is laudable for some, the aggressive timeline and high costs associated with the transition raises valid concerns about the impact on consumers and the economy. As we navigate this uncharted territory, it's crucial that policymakers and industry leaders work together to find a balance between environmental stewardship and the needs of everyday Americans. We must ensure that any transition of any kind of vehicle is executed in a manner that is sustainable, affordable, and equitable for all. The road ahead is uncertain, but one thing is clear. The decisions that we make today will have profound consequences for generations to come. And it's up to us to chart a course that drives progress without leaving anyone behind. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.